Okay, so I just gave you a demonstration on the reason why I model the way I do. And um, as I mentioned earlier, um, I think we all tend to model generally how we rail fan. Like if my experience is what you see right now, like when I'm standing in an area watching a local or a switcher or whatever, from my point of view, like I look left, I see the barge, I see the tanker on the barge. I look right, I see uh, part of the train with a big grove of trees. That's, that's why I model the way I do. And I think that when people experience trains at whatever level, when they're first starting out in the hobby, and maybe more so uh, as they mature in the hobby and in their skills and their ability to model what they really feel they want to capture and preserve and keep and enjoy, is based on how you rail fan. So, you know, model whatever you feel you want, but don't deny the fact that what you're actually modeling is from experience, is from the real world experience that you see trains, you know, the emotions that are attached to that, um, the moments that you think are so cool that you would want to not only model that moment, but the railroad around it, the industries around it, the terrain, the scenery, the whole feel and mood of the railroad that you're trying to capture, whether it's on a small, you know, eight foot module or a, a 200 foot, you know, large layout or whatever, right? It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how big the railroad is, like the model railroad. It really doesn't, right? If it's relative to how you experience it and how you study it and enjoy and derive interest from it. Okay, so model what you see and feel and how you rail fan and you'll be successful in your model railroad endeavors. Cheers and I hope you have a great day.